When you look at a red art image, one of the things you'll immediately notice is a sort of salt and pepper noise-like phenomenon. So you get some very bright little speckles through the image and you get some very dark pixels. And because of its speckly nature, this is known as speckle, or specifically radar speckle. Now speckle is often referred to as noise, but strictly speaking it's not noise, it's actually a repeatable phenomenon. But if you've only got a single radar image, there's nothing useful you can extract from the speckle signal. So it is effectively like noise, and it's something that you want to get rid of. The origin of speckle is because we're using a single wavelength of microwave radiation. And that single wavelength means that the waves will interfere with each other. So you get areas where they constructively interfere or destructively interfere. And it's that process of interference which actually generates the speckle pattern. In some of those pixels, all the scattering from within the pixel actually add together to give you a very bright signal. That constructive interference can be very strong. So the signal can be really, really bright in one or two pixels. Typically, in other pixels, the scattering contribution from each of the scatterers within the pixel don't add together. They kind of I give you a rough average of the, of the signal within the pixel. Sometimes the scatterers within the pixel will actually destructively interfere and cancel each other out. So you get a very low signal in that pixel. In actual fact, in a single look radar image, which is the most speckle you'll see in the radar image, the image has actually got a value, each pixel has got a value plus or minus the value of that pixel. So it's almost like 100% noise in that radar signal. So speckle is something that we want to try to get rid of. Now physically, the key thing is that because speckle is not really noise, it's a real physical phenomena, we can build a model for how it is generated. And from that, the best way that we know to estimate the underlying power signal coming back from the pixel is to average across all the values uh, in an area. Now speckle is something we want to get rid of. What we're really trying to do is to get an estimate of the average power or the average radar cross-section across an area in the image. A single pixel on a very speckled image doesn't give us that information, so we need to have some kind of average. One way to average is to use multi-looking, where we have multiple images of the same scene, and then we can average across those images. Another important way of getting rid of speckle is to take the mean of the uh, power of the signal in each of the pixels. So over a large area, we would average a number of pixels to average out and give us an estimate of the underlying radar cross-section. And because we have to average over a number of pixels, that means we will lose some spatial resolution. Now, because there's an underlying physical reason why we want to take the mean of the power from each of these speckled pixels, we should be very careful to avoid other methods like a median filter. So it's very easy to look at the salt and pepper noise-like effect of speckle and to think that a median filter would be a good filter to apply to get rid of that noise-like phenomenon. But in actual fact that interrupts then changes the statistics of the image. So what you really want to do is to take the mean of the pixels. Now because we lose some spatial resolution if we just apply a, a n by n filter across the image you can also get what are called adaptive filters. So they actually take into account that there are edges, there are boundaries, there are some parts of the image that look like they're homogenous. And it makes sense to average and average across your speckle in those areas within the image that are look like they're the same target. Ultimately, adaptive filters are the best filters to use to get rid of speckle because they get the best of both worlds. They try to keep the detail that's inherent within the image, but gives you a measure of the average power across large areas that look the same. The best way to get rid of speckle is what's called multi-looking, and that's a processing that is done at the stage of the data processing. That's actually a rather complicated process, but one of the things that you should be aware of is that sometimes when you get data from a space agency or download some data, it will be referred to as having a certain number of looks. Sometimes the file will come as a single look complex data, and that's the perhaps the rawest form of data that you might use. And that only has one look. But often the other data that you will get 
will actually say it probably has something like three look or four look data or six look data. And that's always already had some processing on it to get rid of some of the speckle. Another way to get rid of speckle is to take images over time. If you take a stack of images, say every six days with a Sentinel image, and you stack them up, you can take each pixel and you can average them over time. That's making some assumptions about the target that you're looking at and that their radar cross-section hasn't actually changed during the time that you've collected all those images.